Uh, good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. You're going to see why I'm smiling here in just a moment. Thanks for joining us for our Sunday Coffee with Conti show. So this is the part where you sit, relax, watch, and listen, and enjoy the Corvette conversation. i got to thank you guys for being a part of my Corvette life. And for me, it really is an honor to be a part of yours and share the information that we do and the experiences that we have around this car is simply amazing. And we have a couple great ones for you today, a phrase that we coined, the send off pat. Well, that's a way we like to thank and acknowledge our new Corvette customers. So you'll meet Tom and Maria from Pennsylvania today and I have a copy of the actual letter he wrote Santa Claus when he was 10 years old. Now, it took 35 plus years later, but he picks up his new Corvette today on the show. And earlier this week on social media, I shared with you guys a couple of pictures and I said to you, do you believe in destiny? And I do believe things happen for a reason. So back in 2021, at the height of the C8 Corvette marketplace, we had a back out deal. This car was ordered and sitting at the National Corvette Museum. Mike and Heather from Wisconsin sees that car. It's an early VIN number car. I think it was like in the 100s and it happened to be the color of their wedding theme. They said, we're gonna buy that car. They trade that car for a car they ordered and you'll meet them and their kids on today's show. And I've probably said this countless times on the channel, but the little teasers we gave you, these stories and so many more that we've shared on this channel to be a part of that is really something for me. So thank you again for joining us on Coffee with Conti. But first up, a quick appearance at the Spring Fling Corvette Show brought to you by Coughlin Chevrolet and the Chosen Few Corvette Club. And I mean a quick appearance. All right, I kind of promised you guys a quick look at the Quaker Steak Spring Fling Corvette Show. The weather has finally turned. It was raining all morning long. And yeah, I'm in the passenger seat. There's my buddy, Ryan. Yeah, you haven't seen him in a long time. We're trying to get on track. Pit race, June 9th. Stay tuned for the details as soon as I, as soon as I get the car fixed. But let's see what this show's all about. All right, just got here. This is going to be very, very quick. It was nice to meet Tracy over there from the 502 Corvette Club. I love this car from Cleveland. We got to spend a little bit of time on this real fast. Oh, my gosh. Look at these Cleveland Brown guitars. The show dog plate. The show dog car. Everywhere you look, Cleveland Browns. Just need a Super Bowl win and we're good. But look at this thing, guys. This is just amazing. If you don't win something today, I'm going to be shocked. <laughs> My goodness. I said that when I was at Corsa last year and you won. I'm happy for right, you. Right. All the signatures on the jerseys. Yeah. Up on the dash. Yeah, and if you... Yeah, real quick. I'm not going to have a chance to see everything. I just want to share this with you. There's so many great Corvette shows going on all over the country. It's great to hang out with you guys, meet you guys. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for supporting Cogling Chevrolet, Pataskala, Ohio's number one Corvette dealer. It doesn't matter where you are, man. It's not too far. I'm bummed I can't spend more time in the show. I just love being here with you guys. This is a wonderful show. People from all over the country come to the spring fling. But we're busy. I told you guys I got cars in stock. And a guy just called me and says, hey, man, I saw your post on Instagram. I'm coming over to check out what you got. So uh, business first, I guess, right? Ricky will have fun later. But I just I had to see a little bit of this and share it with you guys. So this is a real quick run through. That's pretty hot. Look at that. See, I can get caught up and just stop and look and gawk and talk and, oh, man, Corvette season. Yeah, baby. these wacky wheels look at these wacky wheels man oh my god what is that it's crazy <laughs> so i knew those were vossens i think these are the ones that motorsports la is going to give ricky to put on his car chrome 
baby, yeah. Ryan's like, what, chrome? I just gotta show them off a little bit, all right? <laughs> Remember, if you're looking for, we're talking about wheels. If you're looking for some wheels, go to motorsportsla.com. Use Conti at checkout. You get a $200 discount and get matching hardware, the lug nuts, to go with the wheels that you pick out for your Corvette. Let me know what you get. Okay, we made this all about wheels. You can't miss this one. Look at that. All customized to match the car. Okay, I told you it was going to be a short look at the Chosen Few Spring Fling Show. Uh, son, I'm driving back, by the way. Dad's going to show you how to get this done. Uh, <laughs> I'm starting to get a little more confidence behind the wheel. I'm sure there's a lot more cars here early on. The weather, I'm sure, jacked it up a little bit. But there's usually standing room only. 350 to 400 Corvettes come to the show every year. Uh, I'm sorry I missed some of that stuff. But uh, I got to get back. Uh, as they used to say back in the day, I got to go back to the, to the shop and make the donuts. I'm the donut guy. But thank you for the opportunities, guys. It's weird because we're at a weird time right now that we've never had cars in stock. So now we're extra busy, not just with order questions. We're busy with people wanting to buy and see what we have in stock or see what we have coming. We got a bunch of cool stuff that, that I order for you guys that I can't wait for you to have in your driveway. Did you want to go on the vlog? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a no. <laughs> Tom said, hey, I'm not really into cameras, but he watches the channel. He's here because of the channel. So congratulations to he and his wife, Maria, for getting this beautiful 2024 Corvette convertible. Tom said, because, man, I've been building cars on the Chevy site for three years, and now it's here. And I got to tell you what he said, because we have an adult audience. He sat in the car, and he goes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quote you. He goes, Holy shit, is this intense. <laughs> I just loved it. I think it is great. But Maria said, I'll go on the channel and talk with you. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Great to see you. Good. You've got a wonderful story about Tom, and I got to thank you for allowing us to share it. Uh, this is touching. This is fun. This is cute at the same time. And thanks to your mom for sending us the letter. Tell me about this story. Oh, man. So it was um, maybe last year or so, around Christmas time. Okay. We were visiting his parents, and his mom pulled out um, some letters from Santa and shared a letter with us. Of, uh, he was maybe like 10 years old. Okay. Wrote a letter to Santa asking for money and, and a Corvette. And I looked at him. It was so sweet. And I said, you, okay, you need to make this happen. You need Aww, to make this happen. It that is, is great. So cute. And now he's just a big kid it's with this Corvette. That is wonderful. Thank you so much. And I got to give you compliments too because you were so proud i was walking around the car and i said here i gotta show you guys this real quick look at this little touch on the white car the white corvette script now isn't that classy and you're all proud you're smiling and i'm like well that was your doing right she oh, yeah. said yes and she goes did you see inside i go yeah i saw the red seat belts nice job on that yeah. congratulations to it's both beautiful. of you guys Thank you very much. we were talking about uh, some trips that you're going to take you're excited to drive the car your first ever corvette mm -hmm. It is awesome to be a part of this, guys. Thank you so I much. It. No, I appreciate you. I really do. Yeah. I'm going to do a send off, Pat. I'm going to show them how to use this car. Don't go anywhere. quick let me share with you that letter that Tom wrote to Santa Claus when he was 10 years old. Dear Santa Claus, for Christmas I would like to have Game Boy games and accessories, baseball cards, preferably the 1989 Upper Deck set, and the Treasure of the Lost Lamp movie. Just throw in a few things, okay? How about money? I'd like money. Or a new car, a Corvette if possible. But don't put it in the house, you might scratch it. Just put it in the Morton building. Let me see. I would like to get Fort Knox, but it's okay if I don't. Could you put in a swimming pool where our barn is? Just push it over with a bulldozer, but do it quietly so you don't wake Dad. If you're not going to give us the pool, could you feed our straw to your reindeer so I can play basketball up there? I think that's about all. I hope I get most of the stuff on my list. Don't get lost or fall in the snow. Have a Merry Christmas. Your friend, Tom. be a part of your story uh that you've loved corvette for so long yeah this is pretty cool you've been just just taken away by all the tech in there uh i love seeing that man it's a good time my current driver the driver is a 2006 so this is like yeah spaceship <laughs> yeah absolutely enjoy it man you worked hard for it thank you so much all right man keep in touch tom thank you so much 
Now, he's originally from Ohio, but he's going back to Pennsylvania. Tom and Maria, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for today. Congratulations on your new Corvette. We've got to send off to make it official, thank you so much. Uh, that's a low wing on the C51, and we're gonna run that as well, yes! Thank you so much, buddy. It's the little things that do make a difference. The seat belts, the white script on the white car. Nice job, Maria. Beautiful car, guys. Only could imagine how he's feeling right now. You guys have been there, you know that. If you haven't, contact me. I'd love to help you stop dreaming and start driving. Don't be hiding, you're gonna be on here later. The girls are getting one last ride in the yellow Corvette. Hey, you both fit in there. Way to go, Dad. That's perfect. See, Corvette is a family car. Introduce the girls for me real quick. Um, what is it? Emily. Emily. Hey, Michaela. Uh, it's good to see Mike again. We'll tell you about him and his wife here in just a moment and why this plate means so much on this car, destined. It's perfect, man. It's pretty cool. Got another send-off, Pat, for you guys today. Thanks for joining us. This is like the only one they've been old enough to remember. You know, they don't even remember our other previous sports cars, so. Yeah, kind of an interesting story on this car we'll tell you about here in just a second, guys. And they're taking a ride because the ride home is that. <laughs> they're taking the new car, but obviously the whole family's not gonna go back to Wisconsin in the Corvette, so uh, that's why they're doing what they're doing right now load her up on the trailer and go back for a big old road trip but Heather was just telling me that the kids are a little upset that dad's trading this car Mike it's great to see you great to see your wife again congratulations you, Thanks, got to order this car and I just got to tell everybody you guys aren't going to remember I remember it's very special to me these folks were here on the most important day of my car career the day that I got my first ever Corvette <laughs> That was so cool. I did the send off pat party. We were right here, man. It was packed. It was so much fun. I had so much going on. I don't even remember half of it, but it was just, it was really special because I've got four kids and it took so long to get to that point. I mean, in my career, I'm living through my customers, the weight, you know, that everybody goes through. And why this car says Destin on the plate, and I remembered most of it, but Heather reminded me of some other stuff. And it's good to see you too again. I appreciate you guys coming down here and ordering again from us. This is awesome. There was a back out situation back in, I forget, is yours a 21 or 22? 21. It's a 21. First day of production. Yeah, so it was crazy then, 21. And folks watching now probably don't realize that, but it was difficult to get a car. You couldn't get anything. You, I mean, you just couldn't. This car was ordered for somebody, I forget whom actually, and it was at the Corvette Museum. Yes. And it was a back out situation. And ironically, Heather goes, What's the deal with those colors? It was our wedding colors. Those are your wedding colors, yellow and red. Oh my gosh. So they felt that it was destined and you guys bought it and you went down to the museum to get we it too. Down, we, tra we took the trailer down in January to uh, pick it out. I actually was one of the persons to watch your video that Sunday morning that you, at the end of it, you posted. Oh yeah, I think you guys were the first one to contact. Hey, yeah. what, what, how do we I buy this car? I seven minutes of you posting. I just, I woke up early that day and yeah, he's like, watched he's the video. Like, what do you I couldn't believe think? it. I'm like, it's our wedding colors. I think you're supposed to get it.
Yes. Oh my gosh, that is an awesome story. And that's how it was at 21. You had a car and this one worked out for them, but a lot of folks said, uh, you got a vet available? Yes, I'll take it. You want to know what color it is? No, I'll just take it. <laughs> you know, we're not in that point anymore, five years into this, but it's still fun and it's still special. This one, you had a chance to order the new rip, Riptide Blue. Uh, uh, Heather said you guys went back and forth on the striping and I think it turned yeah, out great, dude. What we were making to do the black stripe, the carbon flash stripe, but I like the silver. No, and it's got the black outline on it, a little, little finish to it. A little outline on it. Yeah, it looks really good. So thank you for that support of the channel and coming here on my special day. Uh, that meant the world to me, it really did. And to do business with you guys was awesome. And then now you're here with the kids and we get to do a send off pat for you this time. This time, yep. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. So how, how long did you uh, drive this one as far as uh, uh, since getting it new? A uh, couple, what is it, two, three years? How many miles you got on it again? 10,800 on it. Okay, so we got a little bit on it. And we've had it three and a quarter years. Okay. How we about took that? you know delivery in January and then sat in the garage for three right months. yeah yeah <laughs> you're that, you're in Wisconsin that. yeah there's another one down at the end that's going to even further north Wisconsin and uh, you know I lived in Wisconsin for a short time and I know Wisconsin is Wisconsin yeah, April <laughs> to November that's it yeah. maybe yeah. sometimes less. So you guys enjoyed it? I guess uh, I get reports that road trips with it. the kids the kids are calling it Ferraris and, and Lambos. And yeah, some of the boys at their school Those shout things. Them up in school, one of them. Yeah, that's so fun. That's great. Rev the engine a little. Rev, that's yeah. right. Rev the engine a little. That's right. <laughs> Milk it every chance you get. So you stayed from Coop. You went to Coop again. Yep. Um, I don't recall. Uh, obviously, you didn't get a chance to pick what's on this car, but this was really nicely spec'd anyways. Uh, anything that you deviated from this spec to, uh, uh, to the 24th? This 24th? one's got the front lift. That one doesn't. Okay. I didn't think it was worth how much they raised Did you really the use the front lift at all? That's a good question. Yeah. Not Occasionally. Not a big Not a big deal. You did? I did, yeah. Yeah, did you? Matt, it's, I, I don't have it's it on my car. Feature, but if you go at an angles, depending on the severity of the incline, I guess it's it's really not not, not a big deal. Yeah. That's cool. Other GT2 that, seats. You got GT2 seats. seats. Yeah. Z51. Cool. Mag ride. Right. I think it's all pretty much the same. That's good, man. That. All right. That's an awesome car. Fantastic road trip car. Oh, yeah. I wish we were driving the new one back, but that's okay. There'll be time. We're into yeah. season now. It's not January. Oh, yeah, it's gonna get yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he goes, yeah, yeah, it's gonna get driven. That's right. Gonna do a send-off pat. We gotta do some pictures and show him a couple of new things. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>I need some good luck and I just got some good luck. Look at this. What is it? What do you, what do you call this thing again? A crane. A crane? Oh, get that. <laughs> That's going to go in one of my cases for real. Thank you so much. All right, we got rain coming. I guess it's good that you're putting this thing in a trailer. I love talking with Mike and Heather. And when I get a chance to get my little trip up to Wisconsin to see Jerry at his pizzeria and see Troy and Jamie up in Green Bay, uh, it'll be just a little Wisconsin get together. So I'll let you guys know when I can make that happen. Okay. But thanks for the continued business and thanks for the awesome story. It is just cool to be a part of this, guys. It really is. Now we're going to do a send-off, Pat, into the trailer. <laughs> okay. Mike and Heather going back to Wisconsin. Thank you for the continued business. So much fun. Thank you, kids. You guys want to wave to everybody on the camera? Hi. <laughs> See ya. Thank you. We got to make it official. We keep it fun. It's send off pack time. Congratulations. Thanks, you guys. Z51's got a wing. I like this wing. They're changing in 25, but I like that one. That's why we rubbed it. Thanks, Heather. You're awesome. Appreciate Thank you that. For That's going to do it for today's Coffee with Conti. And didn't I tell you, these were two amazing stories, wonderful people around this great car, Corvette. Welcome to all the new people that are subscribing to this channel. Continue to do that if you would, because I know 56% of you watching right now don't subscribe. So please do so. Hit the bell notification, thumbs up this video, and make comments down below. Because I love hearing from you, and so do the other viewers. Try to see you guys on Tuesday night for our Tech Tuesday and your beautiful rides. And then we also have to, as I look out my window, 
Yeah, we got some cars here, man. Might have to do a quick inventory walk again to let you know what's up because it is Corvette season. And guess what? Finally, in five model years, we have Corvettes. <laughs> have a good day. Thanks again for watching.